Sometimes rise and shine is a little bit too much to ask for. We're happy if he just shines. Henry Hinton. The best way to wake up. And talk of the town on Talk 1037 WTIB. All right, welcome back. We are live in the studio this morning here at the Radio Ranch, 27th of uh, February. Nice to have you here. In just a few minutes, we're going to be talking to uh, one of the another one of the top members of uh, Congress, uh, the Republican Whip for the Republican Party in the North in the United States House of Representatives, uh, Congressman Steve Scalise from New Orleans is going to be on the phone with us. Uh, Congressman Scalise has been all over the media the last few days. He big interview last night on um, on um, uh, Fox News talking about the uh, the problems with the FISA courts. And um, he made the announcement last night he thinks anyone that's found guilty in that should potentially go to prison. And so, you know, what, is he talking about James Comey? <laughs> because, as you know, under Comey, when Comey was running the FBI, they found 17 FISA violations of the FISA court. So we will talk to uh, Steve Scalise about that. He is, uh, he is a superstar in Washington, and of course, uh, you know, the story about him being shot during the, um, the, the baseball practice when the congressmen and senators were out practicing for their annual baseball game, which, by the way, um, I'm excited. But Greg Murphy has invited us up uh, at our expense <laughs> to come oh, up and, and watch him play in National Stadium. I think we have to do that, don't we? I think we have to go. I mean, here's the thing. If I get up there, is Murphy going to start? If I get up there and he's sitting on the bench and I spend the weekend in Washington, D.C. in the middle of the summer, <laughs> you know, who wants to be there in the middle of the – look, the swamp is the swamp all the time, but it's really swampy in June. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think he get, I think he'd get playing time. Yeah. Might even start. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know what kind of athlete he is. But I can see some athleticism in there, yeah. in that body. Well, I'm not going to make any jokes about it, but I'll, uh, I'll mention that to, uh, to Congressman Scalise as well. Uh, seven minutes after 8 o'clock, a uh, lot going on. We're going to be live at the Eastern Carolina Boat Show and Sail at the, um, at the convention center tomorrow morning, one of our favorite shows every year. And I've got, uh, I got two or three guests coming. We, we're uh, we're going to have a presentation made to us tomorrow morning. Uh, a friend, a, a guy I've known forever, Billy Ellis, has, has actually made us a clock for the studio, Michael. And Billy wanted to come on and present it to us. I said, well, come to the convention center. And, uh, <laughs> and we will uh, – And we, <laughs> Murphy just texted me that uh, he's a stud athlete. <laughs> <laughs> he's a legend in his own mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> so uh, we'll be at the convention center with all the boats tomorrow morning, and uh, Billy's going to come bring uh, present us our new uh, gift for the studio, a new uh, clock. It has our logo on it, he said, which is kind of really? cool. Yeah. cool. Excited about that. And um, also, uh, uh, some of the guys from Pepsi are coming by tomorrow morning. The uh, Menjis Bottling Company and the Menjis family just received the uh, Pitt County Industry of the Year Award, and uh, – I know Jeff Menjies is coming by, my old friend who runs the show there now for the Menjies family, and I think Landon's coming. And uh, there's some question about whether Miles is. Miles has got a new baby, so Miles may not make it. But we'll talk about the history of Pepsi in Eastern North Carolina. You know, we don't talk about that enough. No, we don't. I think it's a great story, one that needs to be told. Yeah. So tomorrow morning we'll have the, uh, the guys from Pepsi on uh, nine minutes after 8 o'clock, I believe we're getting everything set up for uh, Congressman Scalise. So stand by for that, Congressman, and we're going to get you on the air in just a moment. Um, I just saw this. The uh, Business North Carolina this morning just running a story that uh, the uh, former chairman of the ECU Board of Trustees, Bob Gretchen, who is also the former CEO of uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield in North Carolina, um, has become the CEO of Franklin, Tennessee-based Tivity Health, which owns Nutrisystem and the South Beach Diet. i got to get Bob to hook me up with some hmm. Nutrisystem. South Beach. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, South Beach died, yeah. So, Bob, is, uh, last week, Tivity reported the fourth quarter loss of more than $320 million after it uh, wrote, the value, wrote down the value of its Nutrisystem business because of reduced growth projections. The company's shares have tumbled about $12.15 after trading for more than $46 three years ago. So, Bob Gretchen going in to try to save the company for Nutrisystem. Uh, one of our friends, uh, former CEO of Blue Cross here in North Carolina and also former chairman of the ECU Board of Trustees. All right, we I believe we have both congressmen on the line. Uh, first of all, Congressman Murphy, are you there? Yes, sir. Hey, thank you for uh, being back on. We had great two days in Washington with Congressman Murphy. And, uh, again, we can't thank you enough for all that you did. Uh, your communications director Michael Mead did a great job of setting up interviews, and we tried to get Congressman Steve Scalise on while we were there, but he was not available, but was nice enough to agree to be on this morning, and I believe we have the uh, House Whip on now, the, uh, the, the Congressman Steve Scalise from, uh, from Louisiana. Good morning, Congressman. Are you with us? Hey, Henry, good morning. Good to be with you, and uh, really good to be with my buddy Greg Murphy. Yeah, we missed you up there in D.C., but uh, we had a great trip, and, um, and, and you know, I've been kind of giving my my my, uh, my 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 thoughts about what's happening with the country and i'd love to hear yours I, first of all i saw you on fox news last night talking about the fisa violations and the fisa courts and uh, i've been talking about that a little bit let's start with that this morning you said on fox news last night anybody guilty of a fisa court violation should potentially get jail time are you talking about maybe oh, i don't know uh james comey <laughs> Look, uh, there's an investigation going on that uh, Durham is doing, and I think it's going to be critically important that he name names because I've seen some classified intelligence I can't get into. But you just look at some of the stuff that's out in the public domain about the spying that went on uh, on Donald Trump's campaign when he was a candidate for president in 2016, to think that there were people in our intelligence agencies that were using their positions of power to try to take down a candidate for president of the United States. Uh, that that's frightening. It should be alarming to every American, no matter who they voted for. Uh, but those people ought to be held accountable. And, and the people that uh, did that uh, illegally ought to go to jail. And it'll send a message not only to the country to restore the integrity of the FBI and the other agencies involved, but also to send a message to anybody else thinking of doing it again to any candidate for president, Republican, Democrat uh, alike. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen again. But it did happen. And it needs to, they, those folks need to be held accountable. Uh, Congressman Steve Scalise on the telephone with uh, Congressman Murphy. And, uh, and, and Greg, jump in anytime you want to here on any of these subjects. Yeah, I, 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 I appreciate Steve being on. Uh, I, I tell you what, I've really, really, really enjoyed getting to know um, Congressman Scalise. He's been a, uh, a true beacon here for American conservatism. And uh, I will tell you, you know, if you look at parallels in our history, what did Nixon uh, do? Why did he get impeached? Because he was using a power position to uh, have political gain. And this is exactly what was done with our government. So I agree completely with this. And it should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Congressman Scalise, I, I, that, one of the observations that I had this morning was um, uh, from my trip to D.C. is just how divided. I mean, I've been going up to Congress and visiting with friends up there in, in the halls of Congress for years. Walter Jones and I were very close. and, and I, uh, But I've never seen the division that we see right now with the way that the Democrats are trying to move this country to the left. Bernie Sanders was here in eastern North Carolina just uh, 30 miles down the road last night and used these words. What we're trying to do is redefine what reality in America is. Now, if that doesn't just tell you everything you need to know about where we are, but, I mean, it's frightening to those of us who don't want the country to become socialist and something that is, is going to be uh, less than what's made it so great. Well, that, that's a concern we all ought to have. And I think, I mean, it's good that he's saying those things because people ought to be listening. And I think people are listening and read that. You watch the debates and you see them debating about who's going to be the most far left socialist. The Democrat Party is no longer a party of moderates and liberals. The socialists have taken over. Uh, when you even have a guy like Michael Bloomberg trying to buy his way in, bragging that he bought 21 Democrats in Congress, uh, but he can't do it as a Republican mayor of New York. Uh, he has to do it as, as somebody competing on the far uh, against Bernie. But Bernie's their standard bearer now. Bernie is the face 
of the Democrat Party, uh, and he's a socialist, and people ought to know that. We're not going to let this become a socialist nation. Greg is somebody who's been great to work with because he's got those same Judeo-Christian values that, that make our country great, that, that our country was founded upon, where we respect everybody of every walk of life, we respect all religions, but we know what made this country great. It wasn't socialism. I would challenge any of those people that want to embrace socialism, go spend a month, not a weekend, but a whole month in a socialist country where you have to wait in food lines, where if God help you, if you get sick, you, you, you have to wait in a line and you probably won't even get to the front of that line because those countries don't have the freedom that we have. It's about freedom <clears throat> versus government control in this election. And look, the toxic atmosphere is real. It's, it's, there's no place for it. Uh, when Barack Obama was president, we were in the majority. We had a lot of disagreements with him on policy. But when he made the call to kill Osama bin Laden, we applauded it because it was the right thing to do. President Trump just took out Soleimani, one of the bloodiest terrorists in the history of America, killed hundreds of Americans, was in Iraq plotting to kill more Americans. And the Democrats, led by Pelosi, criticized President Trump for killing Soleimani, of all things. I mean, when you can't even applaud a president for taking out a terrorist, who was trying to kill more Americans. Where are you as a party? I mean, clearly Greg gets this. Greg's in the fight with us uh, trying to fight for these values that make our country great. But it'd be a lot easier if we're in the majority uh, so that we can actually move our agenda on the House floor with President Trump to continue strengthening what's great about this country. Congressman Steve Scalise, the House Republican whip. And uh, as the whip, uh, it's your responsibility to uh, to try to keep the caucus together and make sure that uh, there's a good agenda for the Republicans. But you're also known, Congressman Scalise, as one of the top fundraisers in the country when it comes to uh, Republican Congress and the uh, and, and the caucus and trying to help get uh, people elected. Daily Caller uh, yesterday ran a story about you having already – given $6 million to the caucus to try to help uh, get Republicans elected in this upcoming race. And it quoted you as saying that you were going to give at least $6 million more. Is that accurate? It is accurate. It's, it's one of those benefits of raising a lot of money is they ask you to raise even more money, and that's okay <laughs> because what's at stake is winning the House back or, or letting Nancy Pelosi stay on as Speaker. And uh, I'm sure not going to sit by and let it happen. Greg Murphy's not going to sit by and let it happen, but it costs money. I mean, every incumbent Democrat in a swing district, uh, on average, they've got almost $2 million in the bank. So they're not going to give those seats back uh, to us. We're going to have to go work hard to get them, and it's going to cost money, and it's going to have require great candidates. And you need really good candidates to win. Greg would not have won his seat if he wasn't solid. Uh, and we're recruiting really good people, people with great military backgrounds, people with different walks of life that want to be a part of saving this country. And we need to make sure we got the tools to, to get them there. And so I'm going to raise over overall $12 million directly to our efforts to flip those House seats to get the majority back and fire Nancy Pelosi. How do you feel about that? Uh, there's a sense, uh, I, I mentioned to some of the other folks I was in D.C., I heard Charlie Cook, the great political pundit from D.C., uh, and, uh, a real Beltline insider, who said uh, that he that a month ago he would not have given Republicans any chance of taking back the House but now he thinks it's actually getting closer to 50-50, and, and the reason he feels that way is Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Bernie really does more than anything sharpen the contrast when you think about what's at stake, because, you know, two years ago, Donald Trump was not on the ballot, uh, and so a lot of people, 8 million roughly, 8 million people who voted for President Trump in 2016 did not show up uh, to vote in 2018. You know, you'd love to think everybody's going to vote in every election. Of course, we know that's not the case. I could, they're going to be showing up for President Trump this year because of what he's done. I mean, he's done phenomenal things to get the country back on track and secure our border and, and get, get our military rebuilt. I mean, the things that he promised he was going to do, he's delivered on. But people see now that without a Republican majority in the House, you can't move a, an agenda to continue building on those successes. And then you compare what President Trump's done with a socialist, Bernie Sanders, who wants you know things like Medicare for all. I mean, Greg's a doctor. He brings a great medical background. Do you really want the government telling you which kind of health care you can have and virtually eliminating the private health insurance market, which works really well for 180 million Americans? You're going to take that away from them and dump them into a program that's going to look a lot like Medicaid, which is the most broken form of health care, where you're going to have lines. Doctors won't even stay in the practice of medicine. We're not going to let that happen to our country. And I think so many millions of people that 
you know, they might vote Republican, they might vote Democrat. Uh, they're not going to vote for socialism. And so it helps us make the case of why it's so critical to get the House back. And that's why I think Charlie Kirk moved that to a 50-50, which, frankly, is is the best we've seen in in, in over a year now. And I think the, the numbers are going to get even better as the Democrats keep these debates going where they're literally fighting over each other to see how much of your taxpayer money they can take out of your pocket after we cut your taxes. They want to take that away to grow the size of government and literally take control over things like your health care, your energy policy, which is so well. You know, people in North Carolina know what it's like to have a stable energy supply. We don't want to have to be getting our energy from Russia. No doubt about it. Let me, let me ask you both about the coronavirus, and I'll start with Dr. Murphy first because uh, I know uh, – Congressman Murphy, last night you uh, released a video from your office kind of giving your perspective uh, as a doctor. And, of course, the, 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 the media, we're all at the point right now where we're trying to decide where the media is making too much of this and scaring everybody to death. Uh, because you know how the media is when they get on a story and they just, just hammer it to death. It's like the, this is the big story of the news cycle today. And they just have really uh, the, the the stuff coming out of the national media is frightening to people, I believe. But what's your perspective? What's the truth? The president came out with his uh, plan last night, named Mike Pence head of the task force to look at this. Uh, Congressman Murphy, let me start with you. What's your sense of of where we are right now in this country and the threat to us with coronavirus? Well, well, Henry, <clears throat> wearing the hat that I've worn for thirty years. Um, I'm looking at this from a physician's perspective. I am. Um, I've been very intentional about studying this. Yesterday, I was on the phone um, a couple times, actually, with a, a physician, Dr. James Lawler, who is a former uh, CEO or former hospital president down there um, of Steve Lawler. And so he, uh, uh, James, led our nation's response against the Ebola epidemic. So uh, James is an infectious disease doctor. And uh, out in Nebraska, where they have a massive uh, infectious disease containment area. Anyway, long and short, this is going to be a problem for the United States. Um, it is not going to be anything by any means like as near as a calamity as Ebola could be. We have 40,000 deaths a year from the uh, regular flu virus. There are going to be more than that because of this virus. But we have to put things in perspective. I actually had to kind of get on a... Uh, uh, a high school buddy of mine who sends out news alerts. He, he's very, very good and a very trusted news news person on Facebook. But, I mean, it's like it's going on with the media. Every time something pops up, they flash it. And all it's done is turn people into panic. Where I'm getting calls all the time about, where do I get a mask? Where do I do this? Where do I do that? Um, and it, it's creating a sense of panic. We can see that in the stock market that, in my opinion, is not warranted at this moment. Now, again, at this moment, uh, where the United States is the number one in the world at infectious disease containment, I think we are literally doing everything possible to uh, prevent the spread of this disease. Uh, we, we just have to be smart uh, smart about it. You know, literally, this is a very wimpy virus. It's kind of like the HIV virus, a very wimpy virus. Um, if, uh, if you use Purell and just good hand-washing techniques, you're good. That, that's it. Um, we don't have a vaccine. It will probably be a year that we have a vaccine. But um, people just need to be really smart about this. You know, uh, outside uh, China, the lethality rate of corona is less than 1%, and it's predominantly in older uh, immunocompromised individuals. So, um, you know, it, it's going to change a little bit about the way that we interact with one another, maybe not as much handshaking. Um, we're not going to be taking the cuff at communion at Catholic Mass. Um, those sorts of things, but I don't think there is reason for widespread panic. There is uh, all the reason to be concerned about this and work for a, uh, a national response in a respectful and methodical manner. Uh, Congressman Scalise, any follow-up to that? No, look, Dr. Murphy has hit the nail on the head. It's something we all are taking seriously. President Trump showed how serious he is about this by placing Vice President Pence in charge to show that all federal agencies, the power of the federal government's coming to do everything we can to protect Americans. And again, that's been President Trump's main mission from the day he was sworn in, protect America, defend this country. Uh, and we don't know enough about what's coming out of China. We'd love to know everything we can about the disease. But at the same time, the federal response 
uh, has been not only appropriate, but I think very aggressive at uh, trying to make sure that as we see people coming in from Asia that might have come in contact, uh, that we, you know, we take proper precautions there, but just remind people, like in an active flu season that we have now, wash your hands a lot, uh, and the federal government's going to do uh, what is necessary to protect this country, and the president's taking it very seriously, and I appreciate the work that he's doing on it. Uh, Congressman Scalise, I know you probably need to run. I, I do want to say this. Uh, you've become one of my heroes over the years watching you and the way you have come back from uh, one of the most violent uh, moments in the country's history. And uh, and I know you don't want that to define you, and it doesn't define you because of all of your accomplishments and all the great things that you've done for America. But uh, how are you? How is your health, and uh, how are you feeling these days? Well, I appreciate that, Henry. Uh, I'm feeling great. I, uh, you know, I still do physical therapy about twice a week to, to build up the strength. Uh, I just uh, I had a goal in 2019 to end the year without having to use crutches anymore because I had to relearn how to walk again. And uh, starting this January, I dropped the crutch, and I'm walking. I can't run a marathon or anything just yet, <laughs> but um, I keep getting better. And, look, the prayers from people all across the country have been phenomenal. Uh, it, it, it just, it's lifted me up and, and my family during the tough times we've been through. But uh, I got to see what's great about this country, too. You know, it's, it's, it's not going to define me because one, one act of a, of a crazy person was followed up by just the millions of people that are great in this country that pray for a stranger and that say, you know what, we, we're, you know, we're the greatest country in the history of the world and we're going to fight for our democracy and what, uh, what it represents. And so I just I'm honored to be able to be back. Uh, not only serving as a member of Congress, but uh, working with my colleagues as the Republican whip and fighting to get this majority back so I could keep working with President Trump and people like Greg Murphy, uh, who just love this country and want to make it better. And we are making it better. And we know what, uh, what we we're still capable of. And by the way, Congressman Murphy was telling me he's actually going to be on the on the congressional baseball team this year. And uh, all right, Greg, yeah, <laughs> you're ready to go. I'll so, buddy. so I, but you know, serious on a serious note, uh, it, with that, with the way that that uh, assassination attempt on you took place and others at the baseball practice, I, I assume things are different now with regard to security when people like Dr. Murphy and others will go out to practice, which you know we understand he needs a lot of it. <laughs> Henry, we have Henry. seen the game; Henry. we all do. <laughs> <laughs> see, Steve, one, see, one thing you do not realize is I'm Henry's doctor also. And, um, uh, we, Henry, I'm just going to leave it at that. You, <laughs> don't you even go there, doctor. You know there are laws about that. Hey, uh, I know, but, but I write the laws, so it's okay. <laughs> Con Congressman Scalise, this has, been, uh, this has been an honor, sir. I, 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 uh, I admire you more than you'll ever know. And uh, – uh, I've, I'm one of those people who's prayed for you over the years. I, I, I really think that you are a great uh, American, a great person, and we appreciate everything that you're doing for the country. And do us a favor and try to lead that uh, new guy up there along. I know you uh, you, you, you were <laughs> well, like. Henry, let me, uh, yeah, let me tell you, I appreciate uh, being with you, but uh, I want to thank you for, for the great doctor that you have, that you share him with us because uh, Greg's come up and really uh, – is somebody that's going to be a star in our conference and uh, for the, the new House majority uh, starting at the end of this year, working with President Trump to do even more great things. But I, I enjoy being with you. Thank you very much. Hope to meet you in person one of these days. Uh, and Congressman Murphy, thank you, sir. Thank you for three great days of interviews that you and your staff helped us yep. put it together. This has been a lot of fun. I appreciate all you've done with it. Yeah, uh, Henry, thank you. Uh, I, I think it's really good for the people in East North Carolina just to hear what's going on in D.C. We've had some uh, really great members talk. And, you know, uh, Congressman Scalise is just he's just uh, I can't speak more highly of him. He's been a fantastic mentor to me and uh, a good man, just a, a good man that we're lucky to have serving our country. Yeah, totally agree. Thank you. Thanks to you both. And have a great day up there in the swamp. Talk to you later. Take care. All right. Bye -bye. Twenty nine after uh, eight o'clock. Uh, man, that was great, wasn't it? Uh, really, really do admire Congressman Scalise. He's, uh, he's one of my heroes. Let's go to break. More talk of the town coming up. Uh, McGee will have some news headlines. We've got more things going on in the local community to tell you about. We'll be right back.
It's Price Drop Sales Event at Greenville Toyota. Drive a new Camry. Once $229 a month, drop to $199 a month. Plus, get our advantage. No-cost oil changes, tire rotations, loaner vehicles, and more at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep has great lease payments on new Jeeps this month. Lease a new 2019 Jeep Wrangler for only $289 a month. Or lease a new 2020 Jeep Gladiator for only $279 a month during the President's Day event. Come check out our new Jeep Gladiators here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Show stop a beat, get it crunk and wired. Wave your hands, scream loud. Everybody here, get it out of control. We're dropping prices all month long. It's the Price Drop Sales Event at Greenville Toyota. So you get Corollas dropped to just $59.95. Yes, $59.95 or $149 a month at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Work is redundant. Work is redundant. Your talk shouldn't be. This is Henry Hinton and Talk of the Town on 103.7 WTIB. Talk of the Town at 8.33, now 27 minutes in front of 9 o'clock. Back in the studio this morning. Back out of the studio tomorrow morning at the uh, boat show. We'll be at the Eastern Carolina Boat Show and Sail tomorrow morning. Greenville Country, uh, Greenville Country Club. Where's my brain this morning? Greenville Convention Center. I know where it is. So <laughs> my brain's right there with you. Well, I kept seeing that 70 next week. <laughs> Could be 70 degrees in the middle of the week next week. Uh, let's get some news headlines in. Thanks again to uh, Congressman Murphy and Congressman Scalise. Boy, he's uh, he's impressive, isn't he? He really is. He is really impressive. <clears throat> really love. Uh, you know, I, I I mentioned that I saw his book. I'm 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 going to grab his book and read it. I want to read his book. That's got to be a great story. Not a great story, but a compelling story about his comeback after getting shot. It's just one of those guys you hear talk and you think, I think with politicians, you hear him talk and you think, I either like this guy or I don't like this guy or he or she is likable. Right. He's very likable. Yeah. I just, you yeah. just like him. He has that affability. He does. Yeah, that, 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 I good, love that good first impression. All right, let's do our news update. Here's McGee. All right, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders attended a forum at Greenleaf Christian Church in Goldsboro Wednesday night. The forum was sponsored by the Poor People's Campaign, which is a national call for more revival led by Dr. William Barber. During the forum, Sanders said health care is a human right and it should be free for all. Sanders uh, heads to Winston-Salem today for a campaign rally. Plymouth police are asking for the public to be on the lookout for a missing woman who is without needed medication. 42-year-old Tequila Perry was last seen Wednesday wearing a black T-shirt, blue jeans, and brown slippers. Perry has a history of seizures, diabetes, and heart trouble. If you have any information about Tequila Perry, contact the Plymouth Police Department or call 911. Wednesday evening, East Carolina University leaders held the topping off ceremony at the construction site for the new life sciences and biotechnology building at ECU with the final beam being placed. Now, this new facility is 141,500 square feet. It's being built at the corner of 9th and Forbes Streets in Greenville. The new building will house researchers and interest and expertise in the fields of biotechnology, bioprocessing, biophysics, biofuels, imaging and sensor development and environmental engineering. The building is, ex is expected to open in August of 2021. 
And North Carolina health officials are warning about an impending coronavirus pandemic in the U.S. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said Tuesday, excuse me, that the rapid spread of the virus across the globe makes it a question of when, not if, it will become a widespread uh, disease in the U.S. The CDC urged cities, hospitals, businesses, and schools to start making preparations. North Carolina Health Director Dr. Elizabeth Tilson said Wednesday during a media conference that the state has been making such preparations for several weeks now. Henry, those are your Talk of the Town news headlines. All right, very good. Thank you, McGee. Let's check our weather. Can you do that for us? I can. Yeah, we'll see plenty of sunshine for today uh, with a high of 51 degrees. Uh, Chilly temps tonight. We'll see lows in the upper 20s, uh, right around 30 degrees. Uh, For your Friday, partly sunny with a high of 52. Overnight lows will be in the low 30s. And looking ahead of the weekend, looking pretty good. Going to be colder Saturday with a high of just 49 degrees. Plenty of sunshine, though. Lows will be in the upper 20s. And for your Sunday, warming up to a high of 54 with lows in the mid-30s. So it should be good weather the entire weekend for the Keith LeClaire classic yeah more baseball coming this weekend it's gonna be mm-hmm. sunshine maybe a little chilly but i mean yeah, a little chilly yeah, that's it it's kind of seasonal for february yeah not bad yeah, going into march uh let's check uh, our sponsor for this hour university pc care the north care eastern north carolina's go-to it experts since 2006 Longtime sponsor of the program, thanks to uh, all the folks at uh, University PC Care. You know, everybody knows that when your personal device needs service in Greenville and Newburn, you can trust University PC Care with your, your computer, your Mac, iPhone repairs, and as an Apple authorized service provider, your warranties are safe when you use University PC Care. If you're tired, if your business is tired of always reacting to issues after the damage is done, University PC Care's Business Services Division has a better way to take care of you. A proactive solution called BizCare. BizCare tech support, cybersecurity plans, always on duty, staying ahead of potential problems, keeping you up and running with less downtime, much safer from cyber threats like ransomware. Schedule a free BizCare consultation. Call William Paramore at 252-394-8572, 394-8572, or you can go online to universitypccare.com for more. All right, let's get a break in. More talk of the town is on the way. And uh, it's at 23 minutes now in front of 9 o'clock. We'll be right back. It's Price Drop Sales Event at Greenville Toyota. Drive a new Camry. Once $229 a month, drop to $199 a month. Plus, get our advantage. No-cost oil changes, tire rotations, loaner vehicles, and more at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Come buy a new Ram truck here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep has huge rebates on new Ram trucks this month. Get a total savings of up to $12,400 on a new 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab or lease a new Ram for only $249 a month during the President's Day event. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. We're dropping prices all month long. It's the Price Drop Sales Event at Greenville Toyota. So you get Corollas, drop to just $59.95. Yes, $59.95 or $149 a month at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Music, baby. 
make you lose control. Let's rock a show, stop a beat, get it crunk and wired. Wave your hands, scream loud. Everybody here, get it out of control. Starts with mine. Don't worry, you're not late yet. Yeah. Back to Henry Hinton and talk of the town on 103.7 WTIB. All right, now we're going to talk about something that I really want to talk about. One of my favorite subjects: pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to, I hate to admit it that at my age, but I still every now and then just crave pancakes. And I had some yesterday on the way home. My buddy Paula Lofton is here from Aiden. Is this a Rotary Club? It is. The Aiden Rotary Club is having their pancake uh, day tomorrow. Pancake supper day. Uh, is it? Is there anything special about this week? Because I noticed up in D.C. they were having pancake days up there. We always have our pancake supper the last Friday in February, uh-huh. and it's been going on longer than I've been alive. Yeah. So, um, I, but I think this week is International Pancake Week. That's what it is. Yeah. Everybody's talking about pancakes. Right. And it worked on me. <laughs> because I was driving down I-95 coming back to Greenville yesterday, and I saw a Bob Evans sign, and I went, ooh, I haven't been to Bob Evans in a long time. They have good pancakes. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> I hate to admit it. Uh, all right, so let's talk about uh, getting some great pancakes here tomorrow in Aiden, the Aiden Pancake uh, Dinner. What time does it start? It starts at 430 and where, where are you serving? We're serving at the Aiden Elementary School. We partner with the Aiden Elementary School. They've been a fabulous partner for many years. Uh, the PTA actually has a bingo going on at the same time. Oh. So it's a win-win. It's a great family-friendly event. Yeah. Uh, all the food you can eat and all the bingo you want to play. So come on out and play bingo. And, <laughs> and, and eat pancakes, pancakes and sausage. Now, can you? I guess you can eat in or take home? You can eat in, take out. Doesn't matter. We'll hook you up. Yeah. What do you do with the money? So we have a lot of... Uh, local organizations that we support but rotary is a worldwide organization a lot of our avenues of service are uh, providing clean water eradicating polio and making sure that we have good literacy to -hmm. help people become competitive in the modern world yeah Um, so we do a lot of things but um, our primary focus in aiden is um, each one of the schools has a opportunity to receive funding we do a scholarship at the high school we do uh we donate literacy projects uh books what have you to the elementary and middle schools uh, we support academic breakfast in all the schools and i don't want to forget grifton schools uh, mm-hmm. because sometimes people forget that that school is there but you know my buddy kevin smith who's the principal over there is doing a phenomenal job and we want to make sure that we're supporting all the schools uh, we support food uh, insecurity with the aiden christian care center uh, we, that's one of our primary mm-hmm. sponsors. And then we also um, utilize the Meals on Wheels program through our club. All right, so it starts at 4.30. So starts at pan- 4.30. The pancakes will be ready and hot at 4.30. Ready and hot. We, we always have a line ready at 4.15 to, to uh, start going through. I was going to say I'll show up at 4.30 because i got a, uh, I got a family obligation at 6. We'll squeeze but, you in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we can hook you up. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have a drive through We don't have a drive through but there's a lot of uh, people who will text me. You yeah. know, my number's not that hard to find. And say, hey, can you bring mine out the door? And, of course, we'll do that. So. All right, I'm doing that tomorrow. Okay, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll hook you up. All right. It's the Aiden, annual Aiden Pancake uh, Supper tomorrow night, Friday night, at uh, the Aiden Elementary. Aiden Elementary, Elementary School. Elementary School, 430 to 8. 430 to 8. Eat, enter, take out. Eat, enter, take how out. How much of the pan- and what do you, you get? The You get pancakes. What, what else you get? Pancakes, sausage, Simply Natural is one of our partners, so Ooh. we serve their milk. Hey, now. Um, that's just a, a plus. Um, yeah. And we spon- uh, we're we also sponsored by McDonald's. They help us out with the syrup. So uh, I want to plug the sponsors a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, but we um, absolutely uh, love the summer roll sausage that we serve is, mm. is one of the key things. Nice. So it's all you can eat. Good luck. I appreciate it. Uh, don't be surprised if I text you. What You do it. You've got it. <laughs> Paula Lofton with the Aiden Rotary and the uh, annual pancake supper tomorrow night. Pan- I mean, how, you know, the... the Pancakes for supper are Breakfast really Breakfast for good. supper every time is a win-win. Oh, oh, for me. It's a win-win. And it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. My so wife, it's a great my time. My wife always, uh, if, if we don't have anything planned for dinner, and she says, well, what do you want? Uh, do you want some eggs? And I'm like, oh, yeah. 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 I'd never turn it down. <laughs> never. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon. All right. Quarter to nine. Thank you, Paula. All right. Thank you. We'll be back with uh, McGee and Sports next. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need 
anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. It's Price Drop Sales Event at Greenville Toyota. Drive a new Camry. Once $229 a month, drop to $199 a month. Plus, get our advantage. No-cost oil changes, tire rotations, loaner vehicles, and more. At Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility, located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Come buy a new Ram truck here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep has huge rebates on new Ram trucks this month. Get a total savings of up to $12,400 on a new 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab or lease a new Ram for only $249 a month during the President's Day event. It's Carolina Crash G. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. We're dropping prices all month long. It's the Price Drop Sales Event at Greenville Toyota. So you get Corollas dropped to just $59.95. Yes, $59.95 or $149 a month at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Music make you lose control. Let's go. Rock a show, stop a beat, get it crunk and wired. Wave your hands, scream loud. Everybody here, get it out of control. Make sure you take Talk of the Town with you anywhere you go. Online at WTIBFM.com. Now, back to the show. Here's Henry Hinton. Hey, thanks to all of our Talk of the Town sponsors every day, but special thanks to uh, some of our good friends uh, that have been with us forever, like Carolina Vision Care. And I want to uh, let you know that uh, Carolina Vision Care has opened their new office. Uh, it's going to be opening around uh, March the 9th uh, for the, uh, the new office on Fire Tower Road. Uh, Doctors Tom, Scott, and Natalie McIntosh are announcing their second office of Carolina Vision Care. It's going to be at 915 East Fire Tower Road, Suite 108, right next to O'Donohue Chiropractic on Fire Tower Road on March the 9th. Uh, Dr. Will Sawyer is going to be providing eye exams and treatments for vision and eye health problems, as well as contact lens services and licensed optician Corey Lemons will be providing eyeglass services as always. Uh, they'll make it another one-stop shop. You can see your eye doctor and get your glasses, your contact lenses, whatever you need right in one spot. And now there's a, a second location of Carolina Vision Care at uh, on Fire Tower Road. Now they're opening March 9th. They're going to be open they're going to be carrying fashion frames from Prada, Tom Ford, Gucci, Kate Spade, uh, Ted Baker, Etnia Barcelona, uh, Fish, Click, Guess, Carrera, sunglasses and regular frames from uh, Ray-Ban, Oakley and Costa. If you want more information or appointments, uh, remember walk-ins are always welcome, but uh, you might want to uh, check them out online at carolinavisioncare.com. The telephone number for the new office is 252-516-6581, 516-6581. The new Carolina Vision Care office about to open March the 9th on uh, Fire Tower Road right next to O'Donohue Chiropractic. Ten in front of nine. Let's check sports <coughs> headlines now. 
Pirates with another overtime game last night, and this time they come up just a little short. Jaden Gardner fouled out yeah. at the end of regulation. And you know, the big, the big controversy in that game, obviously, was the overtime flagrant one call on J.J. Miles, what which was I thought that? was a ridiculous. I don't know what they saw. I, I just, well, and, and the problem is the, 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 the TV coverage was so bad, they never showed the replay. So yeah. you couldn't see what he did, but it didn't look like he did much. I, I, it, I, these these new flagrant calls are, are – and, and it was at a critical moment in the game, just huge. like the technicals on on Sunday. So I hate it for Joe. It just doesn't seem like he's getting a break. But uh, there's no doubt they're getting better. I keep saying next year is the year for the Pirates because uh, Jaden's back and everybody's coming back. And yeah. They, you know, they're going to be uh, one year better. You know, John so. Gibble made a good point. They play their final home game Saturday against UConn. It's not really a senior night. No seniors. It's no seniors. That's true. Yeah. No senior night. So they play uh, 2 o'clock Saturday, I believe. Right? 2 o'clock. All right, here's yeah. McGee on sports. Yeah, your final chance to see the Pirates here at home will be on Saturday against UConn when the Pirates host the Huskies at 2 o'clock. Last night, the Pirates fall into USF on the road in overtime 73-68. to According to reports, ECU senior wide receiver and former J.H. Rose standout Mydrion Vines has entered the NCAA transfer portal. Vines has appeared 29 games with 19 receptions for 236 yards and a touchdown. He's one of... Uh, uh, a handful of players. There have been a few others who have also been into the portal. Some of those, though, were dismissed by Coach Mike Houston. Round two of the state basketball playoffs tip off tonight. Farmville Central will host Washington. Rose hosts Southern Durham on the women's side. Farmville Central will host East Blade. North Pitt on the road at St. Paul's. D.H. Conley, the top seed in the women's 3A in the East, welcomes Western Alamance. And South Central will play host to Western Alamance. All of that coming up tonight. We'll have full scores and recaps coming up tomorrow on Talk of the Town. All right, very good. It's 8.52, uh, eight minutes in front of nine. Our sports update this hour brought to you by Beauty Bar Medi Spa, Greenville's spa uh, medical office that looks like and, and feels like a spa when you walk in there because Beauty Bar Medi Spa has everything going on. They've got, uh, they've got the injectables with Botox, Dysport, uh, Juvederm, Kybella, if you want to do something about that little spot under your chin there, like I should. Uh, but the big thing, of course, uh, that everybody's talking about is uh, Ultra Shape Power at uh, Beauty Bar Medi Spa. They have really done great. People are finding out the the uh, the results from the Ultra Shape Power uh, Ultra Shape uh, Power procedure are fantastic. It's a clinically proven procedure, most widely used non-invasive solution for fat destruction and body sculpting. And here's the deal. After you take the UltraShape procedure, release contents of the broken down fat cells naturally cleared by the body over a two to four week period, circumference and fat thickness reduction usually seen within the first 14 to 28 days post-treatment. Maximum results are seen at about 28 days after the final treatment for UltraShape Power. They also have all sorts of body treatments. They have the, uh, the Basial, which is a back facial which uh, I've actually had over there, and it's fantastic. It uh, get, gets all the nasty stuff out of your back, when you, and it feels kind of like a massage. They can't call it a massage because it's a back facial, but it, it kind of feels that way. still good. Call them if you want an appointment, 252-752-1406 for Beauty Bar Medi Spa. Beauty Bar Medi Spa, they're located right on Red Banks Road here in Greenville, and uh, if you haven't been there yet, you'll be very impressed when you walk in. You'll think you're in a... New York or a Las Vegas spa when you walk in there. And uh, they have uh, a lot of appointments uh, available, so give them a call right now and uh, set up an appointment at Beauty Bar Medi Spa for your next treatment. It's 8.53, seven minutes in front of uh, 9 o'clock. we got the Laugh Track replay coming up in just a moment with um, the great Jim Gaffigan. It's another funny one. He's, uh, he's always been hung up on Hot Pockets. <laughs> and this one's about Hot Pockets. And it's, and it's apropos with everything going on with the Hot Pocket airs. You know, she's uh, just got five months in prison for the... Oh, she did? I missed it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, for this college scandal. Oh, that's oh, she, she's the Hot Pockets heir? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Did not know that. Mm-hmm. So uh, we've got that coming up in a minute. Let me remind you, we're going to be live on location tomorrow morning at the uh, Greenville Convention Center. This weekend is the annual Eastern Carolina Boat Show and Sale. We're going to be there with some boat dealers in the morning. we got other guests stopping by. We're going to have a presentation, a new clock for our studio, or maybe they might go into the lobby. We'll see. Uh, my friend Billy Ellis has made us a clock with our logo on it, and uh, he's going to bring that tomorrow morning. The Minji's Bottling Family, the Minji's Bottling Company, uh, just having won Pitt County Industry of the Year. They're going to be with us as well. So uh, tomorrow morning, live from the Greenville Convention Center. 
We're looking forward to being out there tomorrow morning and being amongst the boats. You know how I get, McGee, this time of year, especially with this weather getting You warmer. get a fever. Yeah, I got a fever. Just All right, let's redo the laugh track. Here's Jim Gaffigan. I'm moving a little slow tonight. I had a hot pocket for dinner. <laughs> uh, good to see I'm not the only white trash here. <laughs> I buy the Hot Pockets. I go in grocery stores, I'm like, oh, I'll get these. I've never eaten a Hot Pocket and then afterwards been, I'm glad I ate that. I'm always like, I'm gonna die. I paid for that? Did I eat it or rub it on my face? <laughs> my back hurts. Oh. I was looking at a box of Hot Pockets. They have a warning printed on the side. So, warning, you just bought Hot Pockets. <laughs> Hope you're drunk or heading home to a trailer. <laughs> Hot Pockets. <laughs> Never really see that on a menu when you go out to dinner. You know, let's see, I'll have the Caesar salad and the Hot Pocket. <laughs> Uh, tonight specials, we have a sea bass, which is broiled, and we have a hot pocket, which is cooked in a dirty microwave. <laughs> is your hot pocket cold in the middle? It's frozen. <laughs> but it can be served boiling lava hot. <laughs> will it burn my mouth? It'll destroy your mouth. <laughs> Everything will taste like rubber for a month. All of the hot pocket. Hot pocket! <laughs> Jim Gaffigan. You know, I've never had a Hot Pocket. i got to go get one now. Oh, I've had them. Uh, all right, see you tomorrow morning at the Boat Show, everybody. Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep has huge rebates on new Ram trucks this month. Get a total savings of up to $12,400 on a new 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab or lease a new Ram for only $249 a month during the President's Day event. It's Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. A cost of the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep has great lease payments on new Jeeps this month. Lease a new 2019 Jeep Wrangler for only $289 a month or lease a new 2020 Jeep Gladiator for only $279 a month during the President's Day event. Come check out our new Jeep Gladiators here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bellsfork, 
and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Everybody here get it out of control.